Carpenter here. I'm going to discuss with you a concept which explains why some of you will be more susceptible to fat gain than others. Now this concept is something called NEAT, N-E-A-T, which stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. I'll refer to it as NEAT because that's not a very catchy title. So NEAT accounts for all calories outside of your exercise program. So typically someone would go on the treadmill, they burn 500 calories on the treadmill according to the screen, approximately. And NEAT is everything else. So walking around at your place of work, standing up, sitting down, carrying shopping bags, fidgeting, hand movements that I'm making now, maintaining posture, all of these will fall under the NEAT umbrella. So NEAT is everything else. So it has been shown that when people are overeating, rate of fat gain varied wildly between individuals. Now, this is one of the reasons why some people uh, criticized the calories in, calories out model and said that it didn't work. Because if two people were overfeeding by the same number of calories, but one person was gaining weight faster than the other, it would appear that the, the mathematical model didn't work out. Now, NEAT is one of the is a very, very good explanation to why this will vary wildly. So what you need to know is that when overfeeding, NEAT, the amount of calories you burn in day-to-day -day life, will go up subconsciously. So if eating more food, you will tend to move around more and burn more calories on a day-to-day -day basis. So when overfeeding, NEAT will go up. The difference in NEAT between individuals is what varies, which is why the susceptibility to fat gain varies. NEAT has actually been shown to be one of the primary um, factors in terms of rate of weight gain. So in a piece of research which tried to evaluate this, there was a, an eight week study where people overfed by 1000 calories per day. They were told to keep their, um, let's say their exercise regime low. So rather than going to the gym to burn off the extra food they were eating, they were told to keep everything standard. So, 1,000 calories per day, overfeeding by, for 8 weeks. Rate of weight gain varied from the low end of the spectrum of 0.36 kilos right up to 4.23 kilos. So, what we have is an approximate tenfold variance in terms of rate of weight gain. So, this is one of the reasons why some of you may be one of those people that claims to just look at a cupcake and gain fat, whereas you've got someone else who seems to be able to eat whatever they want and never puts weight on. NEAT fits very nicely, mathematically, into this model to explain why some people gain weight faster than others. So, how much can uh, NEAT make a difference? So, when overfeeding by a thousand calories per day, in this piece of research, calories from NEAT went up by 336 on average. So once you factored in things like thermic effect of food, etc., etc., the total calories dissipated out of that thousand were 531. So not all a thousand calories go straight to weight gain. Caloric increasing through neat and thermic effect of food, etc., accounted for 531 of those calories being used up. 432 of the calories were what were stored as fat. So out of the 1,432 were stored as the final total. Now, the savvy ones of you will realize that 531 and 432 do not add up exactly to 1,000. But of course, there's um, a margin of error with people in terms of what they're eating. So although it was very, very accurate, it didn't add up exactly to 1,000. So use, use them as rough numbers. So the other interesting thing from this was that the lowest scores in terms of NEAT were all females. So the four lowest scores were all females, which would also imply that females are more susceptible to weight gain due to a lower increase in NEAT when overfeeding. So cliff notes for the video, I'm keeping it brief to use it as a kind of definition video. NEAT is all calories burned outside of your exercise program. NEAT varies wildly in between individuals, which is why rate of weight gain in this study varied tenfold. Um, NEAT appears to be lowest for females. 
neat is one of the reasons why people thought the mathematical model of calories in, calories out didn't work. But once you actually factor in neat, it appears mathematically to fit very, very well into that model. So this explains why some of you will think that you gain fat very, very quickly. Some of you will gain fat uh, very, very slowly. Essentially, some of you will have um, more active jobs, more active life, will walk around more, move more, lift more, etc., which is the primary explanation to why that person will gain fat slower than others. So, that's it. I hope you found it interesting. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training, or my Twitter page, which is BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.